Shin Bet arrests more than 30 operatives planning soccer stadium attack. Our Jerusalem correspondent has the details on revoking citizenship from terrorist's wife. Three years after fatal hit and run in Israel, suspects to face trial in French court. An internet video puts a Jewish twist on taxi service apps. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Today is Thursday, November 27th, and here are your top stories. The Shin Bet and IDF announced today they had thwarted a large-scale transnational Hamas terrorist network that was preparing to carry out an array of deadly attacks against Israelis, including one at Jerusalem's Teddy football stadium. J-Post military correspondent Yaakov Lapin has the story. The Shin Bet on Thursday announced that a major transnational Hamas terrorist network had been thwarted. Um, this is the second network that has been taken apart by the Shin Bet uh, in the past four months, and both of them had their nerve centers in Turkey, uh, where Hamas maintains an overseas headquarters. Um, and one of the senior people in that headquarters is Saleh Haruri. He's been linked um, to some of these major terrorist plots. Um, in this particular uh, network, we saw uh, dozens of Hamas members recruited in Jordan. Some of them were students. Um, they underwent extensive training in various areas, the Gaza Strip, uh, Syria, Turkey, and uh, Jordan, before being moved into the West Bank and setting up multiple terrorist cells. Um, some of the t intended targets here were the uh, Teddy Stadium in Jerusalem, the light railway network, um, and car bombings that uh, were supposed to have gone off in various uh, population centers around the country, um, roads in the West Bank with Israeli traffic on them. All of these were intended targets. So no doubt that uh, major a uh, terrorist plot has been uh, averted here. And I think that uh, Hamas's aim was uh, partly to uh, provoke a major um, destabilization of the West Bank with a view uh, to toppling the Palestinian Authority ultimately. Less than 10 days after the brutal Harnoff massacre, the Interior Ministry says it is revoking the residency of the wife of one of the terrorists responsible for the murders of five Israelis at the Jerusalem Synagogue. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Eisenbud has more. Less than 10 days after the brutal Harnoff massacre, the Interior Ministry on Wednesday said it is revoking the citizenship of the wife of one of the Arab terrorists responsible for the murders of five Israelis at the Jerusalem Synagogue. Nadia Abu Jamal will be forced to leave the country and forfeit all future monetary and social benefits from the state, Interior Minister Gilad Erdogan said. Under the family unification law, Abu Jamal, a Palestinian, was allowed to live in Israel because her husband was a permanent resident. Erdogan on Sunday also revoked the permanent resident status of an Arab man who drove a suicide bomber to the 2001 terrorist attack that targeted a Tel Aviv nightclub. A bill to revoke the Israeli citizenship of terrorists and their families was submitted to the Knesset on November 6th. The legislation allows, but does not require, interior ministers to revoke citizenship of anyone who committed a terrorist act or aided someone in doing so, as well as anyone who is a member of a terrorist organization or a relative of someone who falls into these categories. Those facing deportation will be given an opportunity to defend themselves before their citizenship is stripped. However, according to Jerusalem City Councilman Dr. Mayor Margalit, who holds the East Jerusalem portfolio, such a measure must first be approved by the Supreme Court and is unlikely to happen anytime soon. Three years after the fact, two Frenchmen are slated to be sentenced in France today for killing an Israeli woman in a hit-and-run accident in Tel Aviv. I think these people have to be put, put away, seriously. And I, I expect the court tomorrow to be able to see that and to see how bad they are, not just in regard to our, our accident. And I think that the, the court is able to see that, and when they realize that, they will act accordingly, they will make the decisions accordingly, and will punish them severely as possible. Lee Zaytouni, a 25-year-old physiotherapy student, was killed in September 2011 after being hit by a four-wheel drive car carrying two men in their 30s, who immediately boarded a flight to Paris to avoid capture. The trial is the culmination of a case of twists that has soured relations between France and Israel. 
in tune with the increased popularity of on-demand car service apps like Uber and Get Taxi, Elite Daily has released a parody video playing on Jewish mother stereotypes. Schlepp, the app based on Jewish navigation or Jewography, provides a nice Jewish mother as an entertaining chauffeur who, in exchange for driving you, will not ask for money but will offer her daughter's hand in marriage, ask you to pick up her dry cleaning, offer you a free lunch straight out of her grocery bags, and have you squeeze in the back seat in between two pre-bar mitzvah kids screaming the lyrics to t Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. Shake it off! I shake it off! Will you two keep it down? Sorry. I just have to drop off the soccer car for I'm kind of in a hurry. And that's all for today. All of us here at the Jerusalem Post studio would like to wish all of our American viewers a happy and festive Thanksgiving. Until next week, Shabbat Shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.